further up the pitch, I think there's a Lewandowski issue. Not because of Lewandowski, but because of the service he receives. Mm. In again, the first leg, again, yeah, again, yeah. In in the first leg, he was kept quiet. I I, I think you know he had a, a couple touches and whatever. In this leg, yeah, he had the two goals, one at the end and whatever. But I feel like a lot of it was he had to create his own shots, and so this speaks to the supporting cast. And on paper, mm. Rafinha, Dembele, Pedri, Gavi, there is a lot of talent to set him up. Yeah, and yet it doesn't happen. I think we need to give credit for the way. Uh, Inter, 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 Inter defended, yeah, yeah. especially I thought Bastoni and Skriniar had a pretty yeah. monstrous games. Yeah, I thought yeah. Onana was very good too. But is something amiss here? What could they have? There's been a lot of focus on Rafinha and Dembele both wanting to play on the right. Mm -hmm. For my money, I think it's time. Ansu Fati is fit. I, I, I think Rafinha and Dembele are good players, although I think... Dembele is inconsistent, and I don't think Rafinha is the second coming of Neymar. I think Ansu Fati could be one day. Yeah. Why isn't he on the pitch? Maybe... From the start, I mean. Yeah, yeah, maybe there's still a question marks, or maybe there's still a bit of a concern around his fitness if he was to play 90 minutes in a game of this intensity. You know, I think he might well play, well, not the weekend because he's the classic. Well, sorry, we say a game of this intensity, and it turned into a very intense game. But you knew what the script was going to be. You knew the script yeah, was going yeah, to be yeah, yeah. No, Inter that's defending in Barcelona a ton of the yeah, ball. Yeah, that's true. If I have a guy who can win the one-on-ones, who's comfortable playing on the left, who is far less predictable than Dembele, I'm just saying Dembele and Rafinha are, are, are predictable, but surely Ansu Fati gives you a different dimension yeah, yeah, yeah. than those two. I don't know. Maybe we have we have we don't really know his current level. Maybe our training, you know, is not performing. Maybe the the data that they have from training or from the fifteen minutes, twenty minutes that he plays there and there are not convincing. I don't know. I did I did wonder yesterday why not bring him on earlier. Even um, the issue I have with Dembele and Rafinha is that, and we said it after the game at the San Siro last week, that there was just apart from the Dembele plan, there was no other plan. And I think that you can't just always cross the ball. He worked on Lewandowski's second goal. It was a good header, kind of. But, but apart from that, in your patterns of plays with the ball, I don't think there's enough. There's enough. You don't, I don't think that you um, penetrate in, like from, from a sense of position enough when you vote Gavi and Pedri, who should be able to do that. I don't see enough, you know, one twos on the edge of the box, for example, with Lewandowski playing with his back to goal and getting him involved him in the build up. It seems to be let's go wide and let's let's use our wingers and then something is gonna happen. And then one, you completely underuse the talent of Pedro and Gavi. Completely. You clearly don't trust Lewandowski as a holder of the ball and to play on him, which he can do. Maybe okay, Bayern he didn't do it like that because they had so much talent going forwards. But I just, I just don't think, I don't understand what Xavi is trying to do attacking wise. That's, that's, that's my worry. I mean, the the blueprint. You've got Lewandowski, one guy playing against three center backs, right? So yeah. the basic blueprint is if the ball's on the right, then the other, then the other guy comes in at the far post, and so we've got two people there. But mix it up, get other bodies in. I, yeah, you know, Frank that's Kessie, why the young should have started that game. I'd also make a point that maybe Frank Kessie should have come in earlier. I'm not saying yeah, you yeah, say yeah. drop Gavi or whatever. But if you're looking for a person who brings that level of physicality, which I think in a game like this you needed, uh, let's not forget Inter's midfield was Barella, who's extremely intense but is a little guy, little fella, yeah, yeah. Mkhitaryan, who's a number ten who has to sit deeper, and Shalanoglu, who's a number ten who has to sit deeper in this yeah. game. Right? Imagine somebody with the strength and drive and intelligence of Frank Kessie Completely. just rampaging through there. Again, just give it a different look. And, but th and there was none of that. It was almost like you're making a philosophical statement by, by, by this, this predictable passing the ball sideways. Which it was very even, predictable. It doesn't even become passing the ball sideways. And you, know, the, you know, people have said, oh, Pedri Gavi, oh, it's like Xavi and Iniesta. No, it's not. Well, it's not, not yet, because yeah. Xavi and Iniesta, they were in the middle, well, apart from the fact that a guy named Messi up front who created space for them, but they were in the middle of it all. Hmm. Here, with this obsession with the wingers, yeah. and I'm sorry, we're talking about Rafinha here. We're not talking about Garrincha. No, you no, know, no, what, what, right, what are we right. talking about? You know, what was interesting watching the game was how very, very rarely they used the half spaces. They did it well on the goal and this, I mean, Italian loses Sergio Roberto and it's a good cross and it's a good finish by, by Dembele. But 
But it seems to me a little bit, and I don't want to be too harsh because they might win 3-0 the Classico, I don't know. But that a lot of the promises that we saw early on with Xavi in the use, the way they were using the ball, the way they were moving, is that gone. And that recruitment, we go back to squad strat like recruitment strategy, squad planning, etc. To have almost bought a very similar player to Dembele and Rafinha, that you've gone away a little bit of the good things that Xavi did earlier after arriving at the club. With the ball, I mean, and the use again of Gavi and Pedri and, I th and De Jong even more. And I just think, not sure that's the right direction right now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.